Hello. I have been developing Marketplace exclusively for Unreal Engine for more than a year. And I had a simple task. To solve the most important problem, which is the preparation of assets. 80% of the project time is spent on the creation and preparation of furniture. Well-made preparation of furniture is very important for projects, interactivity, virtual reality, etc. And I faced a difficult, but a very useful goal. To make such a marketplace that would allow to take optimized assets ready for work with a good quality scan and high quality materials without wasting time on preparation. And I think that my team and I have succeeded. In this video, I want to demonstrate the capabilities of our marketplace and an application that works together with a database of models connects the marketplace and your project. Hello! In this video we will create a room according to the drawing in Unreal Engine 5 without using 3ds Max. I will use the Unreal Shop library, arrange the furniture and show you how easily and quickly you can change furniture and change its materials. The models are ready for use in any version of Unreal or any technology and lighting, whether it's lumen or baking light. Each model has an optimized grid and textures are optimized for lots. For the floor, I use a universal material, in which you can change the shade and various properties. It was important for me to create a library of models that would allow me to change the settings of materials quickly, in real time, in order to speed up the process of design creation without being distracted by technical difficulties. My team and I have achieved this by continuing to replenish the library with new models of completely different subjects. In the final part of the video, after finishing the interior creation, I will show you how to animate the cameras and save them in sequence, how to create a video in DaVinci and save it. I found the room plan on Google, you can use it or any other. The most important is that it has at least a couple of sizes in width and length. With the help of drag and drop, I added the picture to the content browser. Next, click Create, Shapes. Plane. When you transfer the image to the geometry, the material will be created and the room plan will be displayed on the plane. For convenience, I've switched to the top view. I go to Create, Shapes, Cube. I've created a cube that will help us set the correct scale of the plan. For the cube, I set the scale 2.2 in the scale section, which corresponds to 2200 mm in the drawing. One of the corners of the cube should touch the beginning of the size on the plan. In this case, the size is 2200 mm. Having selected the plan, I press Alt and scroll, shift the pivot to the corner of the cube. I fix the pivot position by right clicking, selecting pivot and set as pivot offset. Having selected the plan, I scale it so that the size in the drawing and the size of the cube coincide. I repeat the same for the size of 700 and drive the drawing to the correct scale and size. To create a box, I activate the Modeling Tools Editor Mod plugin. Plugin button appears at the top in the middle at the end of the toolbar. Activate it. For comparison, the standard Unreal Cube won't be able to allocate polygons for the extrude. Therefore, I use the box from the Shapes section. I set the exact sizes of the wall, place the box in the corner and choose in the poly extrude, choose the end. I push the extrude, pull forward. I pull the new polygon to the corner of the inner wall, confirm it by clicking on Accept. I repeat the operation, pull the polygon to the next corner of the inner wall. I slightly clarify the position of the polygon by shifting it. I pull it out again from the corner of the outer wall. I select the resulting polygon and before pulling it out, I will set the keyboard shortcuts to Call Extrude. 
I pull the polygon to the beginning of the window. I create two boxes from the create list. They will serve as overall sizes for the top of the window sill and window. Using the loop ends tool, I add two loops of segments to form window openings. Having selected two polygons, I use the keyboard shortcuts for extrude. Having selected the inner polygon, I pull it down with a snap. I set the hotkey to quickly select a polygon. By the same principle, I continue to create walls and their openings. Using the Poly Extrude tool, I will create a ceiling and copy it to the geometry of the floor. Having created an empty material, I assign it to the resulting box of the room. I activate the Sun Position plugin, an analog of the Daylight System and 3ds Max. In the Create tab, I find and move Sun Sky to the scene which appeared after activating the plugin. I delete everything related to light, leaving only Sun Sky. I select Post Process, set Manual Exposure Control and increase it until there is enough light. In the Sun Sky in the Location area, I change the values and change the position of the sun. Going below to Directional Light, I lower the intensity. By default, the sun is too bright. In Skylight, I increase the intensity of the sun. The larger the source angle, the softer the shadows. In the post process, I will decrease the overall exposure. I've created a sphere from standard primitives, which will serve as a background outside the window. I created a simple self-luminous material with a spherical panorama and assign it to an enlarged sphere. Now let's move on to furniture. I go to the marketplace and install Linker, an application that connects the database of models with the Unreal project. Buy model. I enter the installed linker, specify the folder with the current project, find and download the universal material. And I look for the suitable furniture from the models I bought earlier. These models are immediately included in the project. I do the arrangement of furniture according to the plan. I find suitable textures, upload them to Unreal and assign them to Universal Materials.
With its help you can change the color of textures and any properties of the material. There is not enough carpet. I edit and easily change the shade of the material, thereby entering the carpet into the design. Let's do the animation. I create a sequencer, drag the camera into it, set the keyframes of the animation. I animate the same way in the sun. I start saving the animation and decide to put planes while rendering. I find suitable ones, put one in the interior and the second on the balcony. I think I'll put it only on the balcony. I save the sequence. In DaVinci Resolve, I edit the result in animation and select the music. Save the final video. You can walk around the created project. You can pack the project and then open it on any computer, even if Unreal is not installed there. With Unreal Shop Marketplace, the process of creating an interior in the Unreal Engine is simple and fast. And at the same time, you don't need to use additional software. Thank you for your attention and see you later!